Good afternoon, everyone. Snows just outside of Mexico City bringing traffic to a standstill. That's only 19 degrees north latitude. Also, Hawaii, again, record cold temperatures breaking a second set of temperatures that were set in January. And as well, and another anomalous typhoon. This makes the third one this year. There shouldn't be typhoons in January, February, or March in the Pacific Basin. But this year, there have been typhoons in each of those months. Just east of Mexico City in the Sierra de Ajusco mountain range at 19 degrees north latitude. That is very close to Belize. Two to three inches of snow dumps on the highway, grinding that entire major artery to a halt. You can see about how thick the snow is on the road there. Kids are having a great time. You know it's a treat when you never get snow and then it snows in your area. I wonder what the children think about the anomalous snowfall. Record low temperatures in Honolulu and Lihue, Hawaii. These two different locations on Maui and Oahu also set records back in January for record cold temperatures. This new temperatures being broken are breaking the temperature records from just a couple months ago. This was back on January 7th, breaking records back to 1893. With this new storm that pushed in, check out that huge surf, 22 to 26 foot on the North Shore. Top of the volcanoes, blizzard conditions, close the national parks at the top. This is about how thick the snows were on top of the peaks this time. Interestingly enough, as well on Oahu, there were three other destinations at Wheeler Air Force Base that had unofficial low temperatures. 54 degrees, Lanai City on Lanai Island, also in, in Molokai Airport and Kahului Low was 57. You get these different records in Lihue and Honolulu, Kahului and Hilo. That's all over the entire island chain. That goes from the big island all the way back over to Oahu. Speaking of the Pacific Basin, let's stay there. Notice in January, February, March, April, there should not be any typhoons. The typhoon season starts around late May, June, somewhere around there. Here's the third typhoon for the year, Typhoon Bavi. It's moving west-northwest at 33 kilometers per hour. Also back in February, another typhoon. In January, one ran right over the Philippines, weakened into a tropical storm. But as you can see from the initial chart in the Pacific Basin, there should not be any named storms at this time of the year, let alone storms in each individual month, January, February, and March. If you take a look at Jeff Sharp's Twitter feed on the Grand Solar Minimum, notice how this month is matching up and the duration of our solar cycle matches up pretty much with Solar Cycle 5 in 1798. So that'll bring us back to the 200-year cold temperatures in the cycle. If we take a look at the different minimums pegged through the last 900 years, we look back at the late 1700s compared to today's temperatures, we're going to drop another degree or have, according to the sunspot correlations, dropped a single degree already in temperature. That's why you're seeing so many different anomalous cold weather records and snow events across the planet where it shouldn't be snowing. A single degree drop in temperature has an enormous effect on the climate, much more than a degree warming. Two degrees cooling and we lose our agricultural production and a quarter of our planet starves to death. That's how big of a difference it is. Temperature rises two degrees, not a problem. Plants adapt. If you're not familiar with the subject, check out Robert Felix's book, Not by Fire, But by Ice. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.